Here we are, take three. I usually only do one take, but uh, I've had a few problems here. I was smashing up this trail mix and accidentally shut the camera off on take two. It was so violent. Here we are. We're going to learn how to combine like terms at a very basic level. So that's why I'm calling this episode one. This is just your uh, intro to combining like terms. Here, let's go ahead and do this. Okay. There. Mr. Witcher has combined like terms. Wow, that was easy. I can't wait for episode two. Well, me neither, so let's get this one done. Combine means put together, like you saw. I put together all the M&Ms, all the peanuts, all the raisins. Like means same, such as these are all M&Ms, <laughs> these are all peanuts, these are all raisins. And terms means things or stuff, if you want to get real casual here. Such as, here's putting together same things, there's some more same things. You get the idea, right? Now, if we want to translate this into algebra, into an algebraic expression, to make a connection to the boring textbooks that are mostly out there. Not all the time, but most of the time. And if you can connect it to something real, Maybe it's a little more entertaining for you, and, and you might uh, be more successful and have deeper understanding. So I've got how many M&Ms before I take them away? Seven. I'm going to use the M to represent M&Ms. I've got, oh, nine peanuts. And I have seven raisins. There we go. Now I can take them away. I don't need them anymore because I have variables and numbers to represent those real world things. Okay? There we go. Let's try this with just a plain old boring expression and see if you can remember what we did with the trail mix there. Consider this expression. Think of it as trail mix scattered all over the place. In fact, let's pretend like the X's are M&M's. And let's pretend like the numbers are peanuts. Hey, let's do that. There's two X. There's another X. There's uh, four peanuts. And there's a couple more peanuts. And there's another peanut. Ha! There's that same expression using trail mix. Now, if we're going to combine like terms like I did at the beginning of the video, pretty simple, right? We put, put together same stuff. Bam, bam, bam. Like that. And then we just rewrite it. Okay? So now I have... 3x, because we define the x's as being M&M's, and I've got 7 peanuts, because we defined the numbers as being peanuts. 3x plus 7. <clears throat> now, before you think it's just silly and too simple to use trail mix or real-world things to demonstrate this concept, well... Sorry about that. I think it makes it easier. And I'm an old guy, so it works for me. Don't be too shy to use real-world things. You can draw pictures on your papers to uh, simplify expressions. And the whole reason you want to simplify these things is, well, it's easier to solve later when we get into equations. Um, we can communicate with each other better. 
because we might start with a, a different mix of things that might look different at the beginning. And when we simplify them, it might turn out we have the same thing. Okay? Let's do one more practice one here. How about this one? 4 plus 2x squared plus 3 plus 2x minus x squared. Let me give you another little uh, definition for terms, okay? The terms are each individual piece of the expression. So all of these are terms. There's five terms in this expression. But if I go to one more level of detail and start matching them, when I combine them, I'm going to combine my unique terms here. If I take the x squared and kind of put them together, and then when I combine them, I just get x squared, right? So there's actually just, even though two terms show up in my original expression, there's one term. Okay, now they're gone. I'm just keeping track of everything I do. Next, we've got this guy. I have no other terms that are like that. Nothing like it here. Okay, so I'm just going to add that down there. That's another unique term. And then finally, the numbers. Highlighting pens are fun. Highlight the numbers. There are two terms in the original, but when I combine them, I have one term. So here I actually have three unique terms. So simplifying is another way of finding out, you know, hey, at first it looks like I have five terms. It turns out I really only have three once they're simplified. Okay, we're going to do one more practice here on the back. Three x minus two plus one minus four x plus x squared plus two x three x squared minus three. <clears throat> I just felt like going all the way across the paper there. Hey, take a second and figure out what all the like terms are and put them together. Go ahead. You don't need me. Okay, I'll go ahead and do it now, and then this will be a wrap. I'm going to start with uh, my x squares. I got those. So if I take 3x squared and another x squared, that makes 4x squared. Next, I'm going to take my x's. There's one. Notice I keep the sign. Include the sign when you're doing these. There's one. So I have 3x and 2x minus 4x. 3x plus 2x is 5x minus 4x equals x. Okay, so that took a little bit of work. You can do all that in your head. I just wanted to make sure you understand the process that's going on here. And finally, how about if I underline or I'll circle. Let's circle all the numbers. Okay, I've got negative 3, negative 2, and positive 1. I put those together, I got negative 5 plus 1, which makes negative 4. So our final simplified expression looks like this. Is that what you got? I hope so. That's how we do it. And if you ever have trouble in class and you need to grab onto something real, grab a fistful of trail mix and put all the M&Ms, peanuts, and raisins together. Okay? Algebra works in the real world, and sometimes that's the best way to make sense out of it when it's on paper. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time for episode two. It's going to get crazy down in here. Bye.